Yesterday, Ford News Corp tabloids had this story on their front pages, complete with photoshopped images of ABC flags being waved by what are made to look like Islamic State fighters. How does that further debate about views that should or should not be aired? Well, I don't know. It's tabloid media. I wouldn't do it oh, myself, okay. but I no. thought it was quite... It was fun, but I wouldn't you do it. You thought it was fun? Well, I think... Well, Jonathan Green, As an ABC employee, well, I didn't think it was well, Jonathan fun. Jonathan Green on ABC to see television this an morning ABC thought it was fun. Flag look, waved to look like an Islamic I state flag. I don't put flag. together News Corp tabloids. That's what tabloids do, but I don't really think that's the essential point. But I didn't do it. The four most do it. read newspapers I, I in the very, country depicting the ABC courteous. as Islamic state sympathisers. Well, what the ABC did in relation to this matter was very ill-advised and they are entitled to be criticised. And some people criticise them this way and some people criticise them that way. I must say, for all the criticism that ABC personalities direct to, towards others, they are very, very sensitive to any kind of criticism of themselves. And that includes... The problem this organisation is there's not one Conservative in the place in any prominent programme. So as the, as the former We're director all... of... As the, former director of, yeah, as the former director of, of BBC uh, said recently, only this week, that what develops in the BBC is the same in the ABC, it's a group think. Oh. Everyone thinks essentially the same. Let's, and what let's that let is Jonathan then, Holmes when, have when, a say. When Muller comes in, no-one in the organisation says Jonathan's this is not a bad idea. We are running out of time. They all think the Jonathan same. Holmes, what did you think of the way the News, do news uh, Corp tabloids have handled this? What upset me, Emma, was that they all portrayed this man as a fanatical Islamic State supporter. They didn't have to... I mean, you talk about Late Line not doing any research. You only have to look at one of his tweets or one of his appearances to know that he has been consistently opposing Islamic State for years and telling young people not to join Islamic State. That's where he's coming from. It doesn't take a lot of research to find that out, Gerard, but none of them did it because it didn't suit their yarn. Yes. Right. I need a very quick final word. Some weeks ago, the ABC chairman coincidentally made the decision to launch an independent review into the Q&A program. Do we also now need this SNAP government inquiry as well? Well, it won't do any harm. It won't do any good. I mean, the government doesn't run the ABC. No one runs oh, really? the ABC. It essentially, the government doesn't run the ABC. If anyone runs it, it's the managing director, and he doesn't do much of a job. The ABC essentially runs itself. We are so running an out inquiry of time. Won't make any difference. Jonathan Holmes. I mean, can you imagine if they called an inquiry into... Uh, well, all right, it's owned by the public, fair enough, but, but the government should not be holding inquiries into the ABC. I just don't think that's right. I don't think, I don't think it respects the independence of the ABC. Well, it won't make any by difference. By all means, have an independent... Somebody else do it, but not the government. OK, gentlemen, we are out of time. Jonathan Holmes, Jared Henderson, thank you.